Today marks the first day of school for students in Great Falls. For Great Falls High School, the students are not the only ones taking on a new role. The Bison are also welcoming a new principal, Jeff Hobble. It's just awesome to see the energy and the buzz. You know, everybody's excited the first day. The idea is to keep that going as long as we can, all the way through graduation and the end of the school year. That's hard, but that's, that's the goal. Principal Hobble and the Bison kicked off the school year with a pep rally. During the rally, the Lady Bison softball team was recognized for their state championship win last season. Student Anna Toon was also recognized as the Gatorade Player of the Year. Hobble says there is a lot to be excited about this year, but one specifically, the completion of the school's construction project. The teachers are excited, the, the faculty is excited, the, the admin and the, the kids there's a lot of energy and excitement with them too. The expectation is uh, we get kids through and we get kids through in a way that's positive, get these seniors graduated and into uh, society. Across town, students and staff at Great Falls Central Catholic High School kicked off school today. First year principal Angel Taroski hopes to educate her students not just academically but outside of the classroom. She says the school focuses on real world scenarios in educating them as adults. Taroski hopes the students walk through the doors feeling comfortable and at home every day throughout the school year. I look forward to getting to know all the kids and seeing how they have built community and working with the new freshmen to build community with them so that they can become part of the Mustang family. This year's enrollment at Central Catholic is 119 students. You'll see an increased police presence around Great Falls schools this week. It's common practice to have more officers visible for the start of a new school year. But throughout the year, there's a constant police presence inside the public school buildings. They're called school resource officers or SROs. It's a partnership between the Great Falls Police Department and Great Falls Public Schools. Every summer, a report is released highlighting what the officers dealt with over the last school year. We're digging into that report. There are many facets to the job of school resource officer. There's security guards, rule enforcers, counselors, and social workers. I have the tools and training to address a threat, but most of my time is spent working with kids, their families, teachers, outside resources, community entities, um, to get them on a path where they're realizing what they're doing is wrong, could be criminal, and prevent them from entering the criminal justice system is, is our goal. In the 2018-2019 school year, SROs responded to 660 complaints or calls for service for things like assaults, thefts, vandalism, and more. That's the highest number of calls in seven years. Captain Jeff Newton, who oversees the SRO program, says a big reason for the increase last year was vaping. We took a zero tolerance policy on kids using vapes in schools. So a lot of that increase is based on minor possession of tobacco citations that our SROs issued students for vaping inside the school building. SROs also responded to more suspicious calls. People are paying attention to what's going on around the schools and they'll say, hey, something doesn't look right. You know, the whole snitches get stitches, is, it, it, it's kind of out the window, you know? I mean, you still hear it, but kids are comfortable coming and reporting w when they have concerns about another student. Building trust and relationships with students is a key part of the job. A lot of that is done through informal counseling. SROs spent 410 hours doing just that holding kids accountable and talking with them about life issues. For the third year, SROs implemented the Juvenile Diversion Program. It's a national model that gives juvenile offenders an alternative to the justice system. 62 Great Falls students entered the program, 61 completed it. But students interacted with SROs for more than just criminal reasons. Nearly 1,800 students reached out for guidance. Just 9% of them ended up with a citation. My goal is to try and do my part to maintain that positiveness and just continue to work with the kids and let them know that I'm there to support them, to keep them safe. Now, there are four school resource officers in the school district. Detective Clint Houston is at Great Falls High School. Detective Nick Taylor is at CMR. 
You met Detective Frick in that story. He's based at North Middle School. He's also responsible for eight elementary schools. And new this year, Officer Jesse Rostek. He's based at East Middle School and also serves elementary schools in the district.